So, uh, uh, sergeant session. So, I was when I was invited to do the sergeant session, I was thinking, um, how can I actually make you give up all your changes onto that bow? So either you get your answers wrong or you get your answers right. Either way, I start thinking that maybe you will all give up your money anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. Then I say I must, I must respect my fellow Rotarians. So I actually did some work to prepare my slides. Uh, and some of you are actually not aware of me yet because I'll be doing my introduction in about two weeks time. But I'm actually a professor at Victoria University. So. Uh, sometimes they call professors uh, giving students the uh, death by slides, right? which I'm not going to give you today, but uh, there's going to be a few slides. And so uh, given that um, either way you are going to cough up all your changes right, to the bowl, um, I will just go through with you some of the things that I'm actually more competent at, which is with regards um, to Asia. Right. I'm actually, just a quick snapshot, I'm a Bank of New Zealand uh, Chair in Business in Asia at Victoria University. I will talk a bit about that uh, next time around when I do the introduction. Now, how many of you are actually aware when is the earliest interaction between New Zealand and Asia? No guess? 1960s? 1840? 1820? Any more? 1780, that's a bit earlier. Huh? 1500, how about 1000? <laughs> okay, now, uh, 1790s to the 1820s, basically. So from 1790s to the 1820s, tens of thousands of New Zealand sail uh, skins, often used for felt and leather, were exported to Guangzhou in China. That's our first interaction with Asia itself, at least you know, in the uh, southern uh, China. Uh, parts of it. Okay, so, but we now all know why, where Asia is anyways, right? So, I won't go through too much detail, but I'll give you a few good questions to start with. How many countries are there, do you think, is in Asia? I thought if I don't give you multiple choice, that's a bit like a rip-off, so some multiple choice will be good. Uh, who says 48? Uh, okay, is it a guess or? Okay, that's a good guess. Okay, now if you actually buy that Turkey and Russia is having parts of it in parts of their country in Asia, then it's 48. If you don't buy them, then it's 46, so it's none of the above, but uh, at least... <laughs> okay, so all of you get it wrong, right? So, but uh, to be fair, basically, right, the answer is always going to be C, right? 48, that's correct, including parts of Turkey and Russia. Now, according to MB, Asian population in New Zealand will equal Maori in which year? That's according to government statistics. 20? 2023, any more? Nobody likes none of the above. <laughs> any, any other guess? 20? 2017, wow, that quick. Are you setting up so that more are coming? <laughs> now, according to government statistics, uh, it will be 2026. Although our guess is that as we look around us more often, uh, you know, in Lambton Key, we will think that it's probably much earlier than that, right? Um, it's probably, might be earlier than that, but uh, it will be very close. What's the time difference between New Zealand and Indonesia? Five hours. Four hours. Four hours. Four. Indonesia is big. <laughs> Right, if you look at the world map, you know, we are going up this way, they are going cross this way. So, three, four, five, depending on which part of Indonesia you are. Right, so if you are near the uh, central in Indonesia, that will be four, that's your standard answer, which is probably somewhere that uh, you must have been going for holidays in Bali, for example. Right, that's why you know it's four hours. Uh, but then if you are jump jumping onto the Sumatra, um, so-called volcanoes, you are actually going to get five hours. So I didn't get five hours, so none of you are sticking close to the uh, area that has got too much volcanoes there. Which Asian countries is closest to New Zealand in terms of land area? Japan? And any more guests? Laos? Okay, just to, just to be a bit more fair, these are the size of their land area. So who knows New Zealand's land area? <laughs> Come on, uh, that, that was a difficult one. This is an easier one, right? Some of you must know, right? 
376. Is that us? Right, in fact, no more guess. I'm going to give you the answer. I only got five minutes, so. <laughs> right, we are actually somewhere between Philippines and Laos, and if you actually do your math, probably it's slightly closer to Laos uh, than Philippines, but it's somewhere in between there in terms of the land area, at least according to Wikipedia, which I was told cannot be trusted fully, of course. How many percent of trips into, Indo uh, into New Zealand in 2003 were made by East Asia non-resident visitors? Is it yeah, total, yeah. B, 10 to 20? C, 20 to 30. So we, we have a, a tendency to, a, to, to think that there's a lot of Asian coming in, but basically the answer for this one is 10 to 20. Right, of which uh, I think the exact answer is 19.44%. Uh, 8.45 came from uh, mainline China. Okay, how about the number of uh, percentage of trips made by New Zealand resident visitors into Asia, in East Asia, in 2013? That's some of you, right? So, how many percent would that be? A. A. B, C, D. <laughs> e, there's no E. <laughs> A. Right. That's us. That's us. We travel a lot more than uh, they come here. But of course, this is of course by percentage, right? So if we compare size, of course, coming in is always going to be more than outward. But uh, percentage-wise, we are actually going quite a bit over there. 23.3% uh, is what the statistics show, of which 4.31 were into mainland China, 4.15 were into Singapore. Now, where is the origin of the kiwi fruit? Oh, everyone knows the answer. That's good. Right? And when was it brought into New Zealand? 1890? Any more guess? Roughly which year? 1892, okay. Uh, the, the statistics that I have is 1904, when a, when a Chinese teacher brought the, uh, brought the seeds with, to come here to visit the sisters, that's where it gets spread out a bit. So the earliest statistics is 1904 uh, from China. But of course, it's good that we are actually still leading uh, New Zealand in terms of the, our kiwi fruit qualities, at least. How many bilateral free trade agreements does New Zealand have with Asian countries? A? Right, okay, so basically A is the answer. Um, basically the latest one is uh, South Korea. How much of Zespri? I will just leave Zep Zespri behind, okay? I will jump straight because Lee is shouting. Now, just to let you have a, have a glimpse of a ticket to ride. Right, okay. Uh, basically, this is talking about the train from China to Madrid. All right, it's a, 20, it's a 21 days train that has happened uh, or made its maiden ride in November this uh, last year. So, basically, we are expecting the cargo to be able to travel all the way. What a trip! From Yiwu all the way of East China, go past six countries going through Poland, Germany, and everything, to Madrid. How about that for holiday? <laughs> Unfortunately, at this point, it's only for cargoes, not for humans. But at some stage, I'm sure, right, uh, as the uh, Chinese starts to have all these uh, strange things going on, right, we might actually have a chance to have a 21 round, the uh, so-called half the globe, half the northern hemisphere trip of 21 days across, right? So much for Asia. Thank you very much.